Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello everyone and welcome to your English class. In our lesson today, we start with our fourth unit. Our lesson today is the listen and discuss with the pair work in your books, page 48 and 49. All you need for the lesson today is your books, page 48 and 49, a sheet of paper and a pen to take down your notes. Let's get started. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to report what people said. Also, you will be able to answer specific questions through listening to an audio. Let's get started with these. Let's look at these people. Looks like that we're having here friends, maybe a family. So people sitting together. Usually when people are together, they will chat, talk to each other. What do, you, what, do you, what do people usually talk about? What are the topics that they will speak about? Maybe anything that is common amongst them. If you are with friends, you're going to speak about school, maybe about what you have heard from other people. We usually tell our friends or people who we are talking to about what we have heard previously or other people told us. We are reporting what we have already experienced. What kind of events does the, new, the news report? What, are the, what kind of events do we listen to when we are listening to the news? The news is not about the reporter. The reporter is not saying his own words. He is reporting news about what happening, politics, sports, health, we're having science, and usually things about the weather. So he's having a paper and he's reading information from other people. It's not his own words. Okay. Now in your books, page 48 and 49, you will notice that we're having pieces of the nose. They are four pieces. So we're going to listen to this part of the nose at every time the reporter is going to retell about what he had said, had he, he had listened. So now we would like to bring you the news of the day. We will listen directly from the speaker. Then the reporter is going to tell us again about what the person had already said. Let's listen to the first one in here. Looks like, looks like that we're having in here someone who is giving a speech. Listen to what is he about to say and how the reporter is going to report it. Let's listen. I will build a sports complex and I will not raise taxes. The candidate for mayor said he would build a sports complex and he would not raise taxes. This in here, he is a candidate. People are going to vote so they will choose him. I will choose him or you will choose the other one. What did he do? He gave promises in here to those people who would uh, uh, vote for him. So what did the candidate for mayor promise? What were the promises? You can refer to his own speech and we can tell. He promised to build a, sport, a sports complex and not raise taxes. I will do two things. I will build a sports complex and I will never raise taxes. The taxes will never be raised. Two, why do you think he gave these promises? Why is he trying to give the, these promises? What does he want from those people who are going to vote and will choose him? Because he gave these promises to gain the votes. He, promise, he promises me with these, so I will choose him, so I will get these promises in the future. How about the following in here? Looks like that we're having a reporter. He's in here, and he is at the site. He's in the site and telling us what he's seeing within at the same time. Let's listen to what he's about to tell and how the, the TV reporter is going to report. 
The powerful storm last night knocked down many trees, and some areas of the city are still without power. The on-the-scene reporter said that the powerful storm the night before had knocked down many trees, and some areas of the city were still without power. So, what is he he's trying to report? What is really happening within the situation? I can see now that many, many houses were knocked down and many areas are still without power or electricity. So, what was the result of the storm last night? We had a storm last night and now what is the result? It had knocked down many trees and some areas of the city were still without power. No power and many trees and houses were knocked down. Let's uh, check the, the following in here. Looks like we're having, he is like a nutrition or he is a doctor. He's going to tell us about health. He's speaking about health. Let's listen to him and how the, report, the TV reporter is going to report his speech. Let's listen. According to recent studies, pomegranate juice is healthy because it lowers blood pressure, and pumpkin seeds seem to improve memory. The doctor said that, according to recent studies, pomegranate juice was healthy because it lowered blood pressure, and pumpkin seeds seem to improve memory. So in here, the doctor is actually advising or recommending pomegranate, this fruit, which is the pomegranate juice, and also the seeds. These are the seeds within the pumpkin. So not the pumpkin itself, the seeds within it. They are good for your health. Okay. What did the doctor recommend to lower blood pressure? We're having two options, pomegranate juice or pumpkin seeds. He actually recommended, he recommended pomegranate juice to lower blood pressure. It will lower blood pr pressure. How about what did the doctor say about pumpkin seeds? By the very end of his speech, he said, he said that they are good for improving memory. You will remember better. Improving your memory so you will remember. How about the following in here? Looks like we're having an interview, two of them. One of them is much more related to space. Look at the telescope that we've got in here. So he is more much like a scientist, someone who is interested in space. Let's listen to their conversation and how the, uh, the TV reporter is going to report it. Let's listen. Professor Marvin, does intelligent life exist elsewhere in the universe? No, there isn't intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. The positive proof is that no other life form has bothered to make contact with us. The interviewer asked the professor if intelligent life existed elsewhere in the universe. The professor answered that there wasn't intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. He said that the positive proof was that no other life form had bothered to make contact with us. You notice that we're having question and answer, then the TV reporter reported the whole conversation, the question and the answer. Okay, what does he think about the idea of intelligent life exists elsewhere? Does he believe that there are other living, uh, uh, li living things in the same universe? He actually thinks that there is no life exists elsewhere. It's only us, no other uh, living things in the universe. How could he prove that? What did, how, how did he prove his point? He proved when he said, no one bothered or made any effort to contact with us. They have never contacted us, so they don't exist. Okay, how about the following? Looks like 
with having another conversation. Two men talking to each other. Looks like it is a funny conversation because they're laughing. Let's listen to, th to the interview or the conversation between these two, then how it is going to be reported by the TV reporter. Let's listen. Mr. Hollifield, can you tell us about the results of the exam? They scanned my head and found nothing. The interviewer asked Mr. Hollyfield, the famous TV presenter, if he could tell us about the results of his exam. He replied that the doctors had scanned his head and had found nothing. So we're having a question and the answer. Notice in here, what was funny about the interview? The thing that he said, that was a smart thing. They scanned my head and they found nothing. What, does he, wh what did he mean when he say they found nothing? It has two meanings. Whether they found it empty, which is funny, or they found it healthy. There is nothing wrong with it. So whether it empty or nothing wrong with it. So Mr. Holyfield replied, that the doctor scanned his head and had found nothing. Was it empty? No, it was all okay. Nothing wrong with it. Now let's go back to these conversations or to the, to, uh, to the speech of the TV reporter and we will notice how he, he had already replied or he reported um, uh, these speeches. The first one, which is the, the candidate of mayor, he said, I will built a sport complex. Then the reporter said, the candidate of mayor, at the beginning he introduced the person who's saying that he is the candidate of mayor, said that he will, we have changed it into would. He would build a sport complex and he wouldn't, will not, changed into would not. From will into would. We have changed it from well into wood. So the tense of the verb should be different because I'm speaking about something that had happened before now. The following, which is the on the, scene, on the, uh, the, on the scene reporter, the powerful storm last night. Notice, last night we have changed it, uh, uh, knocked down, we have changed it into had knocked down. It happened in the past, so let's go older, which is the, pr the, the past perfect tense. Knocked down into had knocked down many trees. And some areas of the city are still, we have changed it into where. I will say are, but when you are reporting me, it's not going to be are, it will be part of the past for you. Is into maybe was. Then, when the doctor said, according to recent studies, pomegranate juice is healthy, we have changed is into was. It is healthy, and when he, was, he said, it was healthy. Lowers became lowered, present into past, and also pumpkin, seed seem, pumpkin seeds seem into seemed. So always go one tense backward. The well will be wood, present will be past, and past will be older, past perfect. The following, here the conversation. Professor Marvin, does intelligent life exist elsewhere in the universe? This time we're having a question. A question will be reported as if it were, does, we have changed it into if, and we're having here. If intelligent life exists, it will become in the past. So instead of forming a question, we will change it into in here. It is a sentence. We will change does, or let's say the auxiliary or the, more, the helping verb, into if. Then exist will be existed. What did he say? No, there isn't intelligent life. The is changed into was present into past, then the positive proof is, the positive proof was, no one has bothered 
no one had bothered. All the tenses, you will go one tense backward. The other conversation, Mr. Holyfield, can you tell us about the results of the exam? Here, we're having can you. You notice we used if because it is a question, then can and to, we have changed it into could. Can you, it became you can, you could instead of uh, um, uh, we will use instead of the can we will use could always go one tense backward he said they scanned my head and found nothing we're going to change the verbs which are scanned and found scanned had scanned found had found instead of the past we will go one tense backward scanned had scanned found had found now, some of the words in your books, page 49, some of the, uh, the meanings of the words, we're having proof, candidate, scan, and bother. Let's match the words with their meanings. What do we mean with the proof? My positive proof, I can prove it because no one bothered. What is a proof? A proof is evidence. The proof is the evidence. Then, candidate. The candidate for mayor, that man who was standing there and giving a speech and promises. Candidate. Candidate is a person trying to be elected. I am a candidate. I would, we're having many candidates, and people are going to choose one. Elect. Chosen. Scan. They scanned my head and found nothing. When you scan, get an image with computer like scanning a paper scanning your body they scanned it then bother i'm sorry to bother you or to make the effort bothering no one bothered no one made an effort to do this or that okay now in your books page 49 answer the true or false based on your understanding of the conversations. Number one, the candidate of mayor said that he wouldn't raise taxes. He said, I will not raise taxes. Yes or no? Yes. He said, I, w I will build a sport complex and won't raise the uh, taxes. The doctor said that pumpkin seed help fight cancer. Pomegranate juice? and pumpkin seeds. How about the pumpkin seed? It's no. Pumpkin seed is related to, it will improve your memory. Nothing, we have mentioned nothing about fighting cancer. Three, the professor said that there, that there was no life on other planets because no one had contacted us. I can prove that there is no one lived in other planets because no one contacted us. Actually, it is true. No one bothered to communicate with us. Four, Mr. Holyfield told the interviewer that the doctors hadn't found anything wrong with him. Yes or no? It is actually true when he said they scanned my head and found nothing. Found nothing wrong with my head. It was all okay. Now, in your books, page 43, the pair work part. Try to answer questions and answer them. We'll ask questions on each situation or a reported speech. At the beginning in here, we're having here the, the man who's interested in, the scientist interested in space. What did the reporter ask the professor? Notice we're asking about the question, not the answer. What did he ask? He asked him if intelligent life existed elsewhere in the universe. Does, does intelligent life exist anywhere in the universe? And he said his reply was no. Then the doctor in here, when he spoke about pomegranate juice and pumpkin seeds, what did the doctor say about his recommendations? You will notice he said that according to recent studies, Pomegranate juice was healthy 
because it lowered blood pressure and pumpkin seeds seemed to improve memory good for the memory how about the on the scene reporter what did the on the scene reporter say the situation how was it the on the scene reporter said that the powerful storm the night before had knocked down many trees and many places were without electricity or without power now in your books page 109 exercise a read the conversation then report what you have read use the words from the box we will use knock down bother power raise and we're having improved but we have to notice that we will use reported verbs had done if it is in the past or did if it is in the present my aunt went to the doctor about her blood pressure this was her second visit the doctor rechecked my aunt's blood pressure and was happy the doctor said her blood her, her blood pressure was better than it was two months ago the doctor said the blood pressure getting better we will use improve this time it had improved it improved then had improved the following number two my neighbor has a new car I asked him why he chose that particular car he said that he was looking for a car that didn't use a lot of gas this car isn't very expensive to drive because it uses gas and electricity hybrid car he said that this car got its from gas and electricity the power here we're having the power from both gas and electricity next last night Ahmed and Jasim were doing their homework at Ahmed's house but Ahmed's little brother kept talking to them while they were they were working he was also taking photos of Ahmed uh, uh, with Ahmed's camera as a result Ahmed and Jasim didn't get a lot of homework done Jasim said that Ahmed's little brother, what did he do with them all evening so they didn't finish the homework? He, he actually had bothered them. Not today, the day before. Had bothered them. The people in our city voted to make more parks for people to enjoy. Today, the city is going to demolish, demolish is to destroy several buildings to make space for a big park near my house my brother went to watch the demolition he just came home to tell me about it now the brother is speaking my brother reported that they five buildings they demolished so knocked down they had knocked down the day before our science teacher, Mr. Adams, is upset about the city increased the taxes again. He sent an email to the city govern government about high taxes. He believes that it is important to tell the government that the, tax the taxes aren't fair. Mr. Adams, Mr. Adams said that the city taxes again and that they were unfair. The idea of raising? So they had raised the idea of had raised raised and had raised for your homework just listen to the news and find any news article then report it it is a direct speech from you it will be a reported speech so find a news article and try to report it okay i guess that is it for the lesson today and thank you so much for your time